Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you the top 10 plugins themes that I use for my blog sites or my other sites where I use WordPress. Okay. So I did purchase the domain ssmtips.com. It is a social media marketing tips.com where I will write uh, tips, tricks, etc. for social media marketing. And there will be articles, there will be discussions, videos, etc. And uh, this is a fresh WordPress installation. That means it is fresh, nothing is installed, no additional plugins or etc. I'm going to install all those necessary plugins that you are going to be needed for your uh, WordPress. These are basics. You may install more, but these, I think, these plugins that I'm going to install today, these are the most important ones that you need. You must need those. Okay, what are these plugins? So let's go to plugins and add new. First of all, uh, Google Site Kit. This is one of the most important plugin if you are going to run uh, your blog site. A moment it's taking some time okay so there it is google site kit install it it will give you option to connect with your google analytics search console adsense tag manager site speed all those things in one plugin and it's created by google that's awesome so let's uh, activate this then i'm going to install uh, a few more plugins so I have uh, activated Google site kits and then add new um, I'm going to install security plugins this is uh, item security um, it has a free version that I'm going to use and if you want advanced security you can take it a paid version as well Okay, then the next one is uh, SES. As I am hosting my WordPress box in Amazon SES, so I will send emails using SES and I just need this plugin. Install it now. Then uh, load. WP Offload Media Lite. This is a plugin that uh, that helps you to upload all your uh, images um, into S3 bucket and uh, then it updates the link in your website so that's really great and you don't have to worry about images losses and it's uh, it makes your website faster okay then I'm going to uh, install one more plugin that is uh, total cash W3 let me search with W3 W3 total cash install I just going to use it for CTN service provider with AWS okay uh, then I'm going to install some one thing The theme is Astra. There are a lot of free themes available, but uh, Astra, to my uh, opinion, is one of the best and one of the most used themes in WordPress at this moment when I'm creating this video. Okay, I did I go to a different menu? Themes appearance. Well, this, this themes. Add a new theme and then search for Astra. So uh, it is Astra, not Astral. So just choose the name. It's loading. Just a moment. 
install it. Great, installed. Let me activate this plugin. It is activated. Okay. Then uh, one more thing, I just want to install um, Elementor. I think you all know about Elementor. And uh, it is the most used five million installations website builder in all five thousand five star ratings. Awesome. We all love Elementor. Okay, so let's activate this plugin. I'm not going to watch the video. I'm going to go to the plugins area and I will activate the plugins. Uh, this one, this one, this one. Okay, selected plugins activated. Then I go to Google Site Kit and let's try to set up. Start setup. Choose my Google account and now proceed. site so you have connected with search console you have connected uh, we have option to connect with analytics page light speed etc you can just connect here by clicking this and then connect to that analytics here the best part is you don't need to add those tracking codes into your website. This will all, uh, this all should be done via that plugin. It's awesome. Okay, analytics. Um, new property. Smtips.com. analytics yeah you just need to give a permission to this account that's it It is loading, just a moment, uh, I'm facing some internet problems today. Okay, so it is connected. Now I'm going to set up the uh, SCS plugin. Get started. Um, I'm going to give access keys here, just a moment. So let me log into my AWS account.
okay i'm uh, going to create an iam users so let's go to here and then um, i'm going to add a new user so i give a user name some tips programmatic access click next i'm going to give acs full access Next review, create user. Okay, uh, let me just pause here. One more moment, I just copy this API key and secret. Okay, I have given uh, the uh, notification, the API key and secret from IAM user. Then I'm going to give the settings uh, from email address, return path, and then go next save and complete uh, here it says verify sender okay so I'm going to check turn this on enable email tracking email tracking that's fine okay reply to this is also this domain is verified so I can send email using this email uh, this email address if you have any other verified email address then use that as a from name otherwise AWS will not allow to send email you can see here which domains has been verified if you want to verify new domain just view the DNS and you just create this uh, copy name and then add that to your DNS record that's it the domain will be verified let me just add that so I manage these records using Namecheap. So uh, just add a record here, txt record. Host is uh, Amazon SES. And the value that uh, we need to copy from here. Let's do that from five minutes save it that's it so uh, it might take around uh, one or two hours to get verified but when it's verified you will see that uh, this is verified success then you can change these uh, settings over there but at this moment uh, my this email address is verified so I'm going to set here so all those emails will be now sent using AWS SCS so that's great now we are just going to set up an, one more thing with uh, Offroad Media Light. Here I also uh, my server is on AWS web service and I would like to IAM roles. Okay, that's fine. Next, let me give the bucket name here. Just a moment. So this is actually my bucket SSMTips.com. So I'm just copying this. Save bucket settings. And that's it so all my next image that i have uploaded will be uploaded to me to my this bucket automatically i don't need to do that manually uh, all those links will be using this url so um, that's it for settings i think guys and i one more thing that's on, on w3 cache cdn so um I need to enable CDN here. So I enabled CDN in this option and save all settings. If you choose to use Amazon CloudFront as your CDN, then you need to give create an IAM user with CloudFront full access and then just give the user access key and secret key here. I will just copy it from now, just a moment. Let me pause here. Okay. I have given the API key and secret. Now create a distribution, save all settings, and then create distribution and save all settings. So that's it, guys. So I have set up my CDN, and uh, this is the CDN URL that will be used in the front end. So thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe 
and share it with your friends and families. Thank you.